Hello everyone, in this tutorial we will learn to make slow motion video with AI on cloud for free. So you'd want to create slow motion videos now and you don't have any expensive cameras. Now what do you do? You probably slow down a normal video like every other people do. Now how does it look? It looks choppy and bad right? The more we slow it down the more it looks like a slideshow. With the help of an AI tool named Super Slow Mo, we change all that to the smooth slow mo, which you can process on cloud GPU online, second all for no money, so you save your time and your dollars. And this process is much faster than previous methods. Hi, my name is Smriti. We have already covered fancy topics and have interesting videos on the line, which you might love, so please do subscribe to our channel. Before we get right in, let's appreciate the authors of Super Slow Mo. Jump to the first link in the description that will direct you to the collab script which is modified to be super easy to use. This script can slow down the videos from either YouTube or the videos you upload. Following good practice, make a copy of this script to your drive and make sure you are on the right GPU runtime. Run the first cell to set up your machine with the software. The second cell will run super slow mo against any YouTube video. You will need to fill in the YouTube URL where you can paste the link to any YouTube video. As for example, this is a YouTube video. I will copy the URL of this video and directly paste it to the field. Slow motion factor takes in a number which describes how slow you want the video to be. 1 means the original speed of the video. 2 means you want the slow motion to be at half the speed. For this tutorial, I want the video to be 8 times slower, so I'll leave it at 8. To run this process for the entire video may take a very long time, so you may trim the video starting at some seconds and in the clip at some seconds. For this tutorial, I set the start time at 0 second and in at 2 seconds. Now finally execute this cell. This will take some time as it crunches the source video to slow motion video. While that's running, check the YouTube cards above now and learn the tricks to get the fastest GPU in Colab. Link to video tutorial is also in description. And obviously faster the GPU, shorter is this waiting time. After all, that's done. You are left with the comparison video. The clip at the left is the result of super slow mo and the clip at the right is the source video. As expected, it did a decent job to interpolate between frames. You can simply download this video. If you want to download just the slow motion video, then scroll your file tab to find a file named output underscore slow dot mp4. Download that file. But hey, a single clip cannot describe how awesome this software is. You might want to try this yourself. The last cell will take in your video and apply super slow mo on it. First, you need to upload your video to the Colab machine through the file tab, click the weird upload button, select the video and hit open. After your video is uploaded, identify it with its name, right click on it and select the copy path option, then paste this path to the path to your video field. In the same fashion, fill all the fields like so and hit execute. After all the processing, you are left with another comparison video. If you want to download just that slow-mo video, you need to scroll for my output underscore slow dot mp4. Now, if you are curious about how super slow-mo works, there is a link to the paper in description. Or if you are not that kind of a person, there is an entertaining video by 2 minute paper. In a nutshell, these algorithms are performing frame interpolation, that is adding single or multiple intermediate frames to make existing videos slower. This is mostly done in two basic ways. The first is frame blending, which basically computes average between two frames. This technique rarely generates any visual artifacts, but it lacks the understanding of motion that is happening. The other technique called optical flow is much smarter as it understands the kind of motion in the video like translation and rotation and does much better in most cases but this method may take a long time to process and may introduce artifacts. 
The super slow mo is best on optical flow, is much quicker to render than other competitors, and is adopted by Nvidia. And this is all for today, guys. I hope you found this video very fascinating. I would like to remind you again to like, share, and subscribe because you don't want to miss what's coming next to you. Thank you.